On this episode of Pitch Chris, why is it a casting director chooses one actor over another? If you're a filmmaker and you're looking to get product placement in your movie, what size company should you go to? And are you an actor trying to book that first gig? Find out how. Hi, and welcome to episode 28 of Pitch Chris, where you guys ask me questions about the entertainment business, and I'm going to answer them for you. To ask me a question, find me on social media, at Chris de Blasio, hashtag Pitch Chris, and I'll be happy to answer all the questions you guys have. This first question comes from Kelly in Atlanta. Let's see what Kelly's got to say. Hi, I'm Kelly Pittman. I'm 5'8". I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and my question is... When casting for a particular role, what tends to be the biggest differentiator between candidates uh, resulting in booking one over another? Um, specifically, say, hopefully booking me over someone else. Thanks. Hey, Kelly. So when it comes to auditioning, and some of, the, some of these things have happened to me before, you know, I would go in into an audition. Now, I've got brown hair, hazel eyes, right? I'm very specific. I go in, nail it, right? And then don't get a call back. And I actually see the project that, uh, you know, that I auditioned for on TV or in the movies, and it's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy, right? And I think to myself, all right, well, what's going on? Well, you can't control what the decision is. Sometimes they just, they, they may change it on the spot. They may, they may audition a whole bunch of people because they don't know what they're looking for. So I wouldn't be so hard on yourself if you don't book the audition. The only thing that you can do as an actor, give your best. Always go in. When you go in that audition room, just nail it because your job as an actor is to audition. Once you get the audition, then you work, you work on a project. But if you stay focused with that and always give your best work, you're going to start booking. Hey, Chris. My name's Nick. So as far as advertisers, is it better to go to local business or larger corporations as far as who's more likely to want to play ball? Hey, Nick. Great question. So what I would say is it depends on the size of your project, right? So if you're working on a shoestring budget, like a micro budget, it's going to be very difficult for you to go to Coca-Cola or Red Bull because they have a bigger audience. They're going to need more distribution and your small project is probably not going to warrant that. So I would say that if you're doing a small project, start out with local advertisers in your area. They'd be probably more interested in helping you as a filmmaker, specifically if you live in the in the community that they're at, they might be more inclined of giving you some money um, and helping you get your project off the ground as an advertiser, as opposed to somebody who doesn't know you that um, your project doesn't have the reach that they're looking for. Hey Chris, my name is Zach. I graduated film school in December and I came to Atlanta hoping to break into the film industry and really land uh, a couple of gigs and that's really what I want to know how to do. How do you land a gig here uh, when you don't really know anybody and are there any other avenues than some of the popular like meet and greets out there? Hey, Zach, first off, congratulations for graduating and welcome to Atlanta. So there's a lot of things you can do to find auditions as an actor. There's a lot of things on social media now that you can find casting notices on social media. There's websites like Mandy.com and Actors Access. If you don't have an Actors Access account, you definitely need to get on that because Actors Access is the account. Once you get an agent, they'll be able to submit you through that. So definitely set yourself up with that. As far as networking, at the recording of this episode, the Atlanta Film Festival is going on right now. So you, you being here in Atlanta, I'd highly recommend you getting plugged into the festival. Start networking with other actors. Start networking with other filmmakers because that's what it... That's what it's all about is networking, and that's how you start um, building up your, your immediate network so you can start booking some gigs. So great questions. That's all for today's episode. To ask me a question about the entertainment business, find me on social media, at Chris de Blasio, hashtag pitch Chris. Until next time.